Let us now look at the fifth model from the topic alphabet where we are supposed to find out the number of pairs in the given word which have got as many letters between them as in the English alphabet. Let us look at the question here. The question is how many such pairs of letters are there in the word storm each of which has as many letters between them in the word as in the English alphabet. So what we are supposed to do here is from the given word storm we need to find out those pair of letters which have got the same number of letters between them as they have in the English alphabet. Let's see how to solve this question. The given word is storm. Now if you take the pair of letters S and T here we have no letter between S and T. That means we can say there are zero letters between S and T in the given word storm. And even if you go by the alphabetical order, we have no letter between S and T as the alphabetical order is P, Q, R, S, T, U, V and so on. That means there is no letter between S and T in the English alphabet. So here S and T can be taken as a correct pair. Similarly, if you look at the letters T and R, here we have one letter between R and T. And that letter is O. And as per the English alphabet, if we read out the letters from R, we have R, S, T, U, V and so on. That means in between R and T, we have only one letter that is S. And in the given word, we have only one letter O. So again, R and T can also be taken as a correct pair. So the idea here is to find out all such possible pairs which have got the same number of letters between them in the given word as they have in the English alphabet. To solve this question we have to verify each letter with every other letter and find out if it is forming a correct pair or not. Starting from S if you read out the English alphabet we have S T U V W. And as you can see, the only matching pair here is S and T because the remaining are U, V, W which doesn't match with any of the given letters. So we can say that S and T is a correct pair as the number of letters between them in the English alphabet and the given word are same. So S, T can be taken as correct pair. Now next, moving on to the letter T, let us again read out the English alphabet from T. So we have T, U, V, W. And as you can see here, there is nothing which matches with T in the given word and as in the English alphabet. So there is no correct pair with T. Now taking the third letter O, if we read out the English alphabet, we have O, P, Q. Again, none of them matches with the given letters. So there is no possible pair with O. R, S and here we have got M. That means that cannot be taken as a correct pair. And when we come to M, this cannot be considered because there is no letter beyond M in the given word. But then there are letters before M in the given word storm. So we now need to check these letters in the reverse direction. So starting from M, if we read out the English alphabet, we have M, N, O, P, Q. So we can see that M and O form a correct pair because it is M, R, O in the word and M, N, O in the English alphabet. So there is only one letter between M and O in this word and the English alphabet. So M, O can be taken as the correct pair. Now going by the letter R, we have R, S, T, U. We can see that R and T make a correct pair. So R, T can be taken as the third possible pair. Now if you take the letter O, we have O, P, Q which doesn't match with any of the given letters. And similarly with T, we have T, U and here the letter is S. So that again cannot be treated as the correct pair. And since S is the only letter left out, that cannot be considered now. So finally, we can say that there are three possible pairs here which have got as many letters between them as in the English alphabet. So the answer here should be three. But friends, solving this question in this manner takes a lot of time because we are checking each letter with every other letter in the given word and then same procedure is repeated in the reverse direction. So to simplify the solution to a large extent, what we can do is instead of checking the letters in the word, we can check their positions as per the English alphabet. That helps us finding out the number of pairs in a faster way. So let us find out the number of pairs with the help of the positions of these letters. 
We know that S is the 19th letter in the English alphabet. T is the 20th letter. O is the 15th letter. R is 18th. And M is the 13th letter in the English alphabet. Now, whatever we have done in the previous case with the letters, same thing has to be repeated with their positions. The idea here is working out on numbers is faster when compared to working out on the letters. So this gives us the answer in a faster way. Now immediately when I look at 19 and 20, we can take it as a correct pair because 19 and 20 are in order and there is no gap between 19 and 20 in the given word. So 1920, that is nothing but S and T is the first pair. Now if you try to check 19 with the remaining positions, it is very clear that it cannot be a correct pair because these are all far away from 19 and doesn't seem to be in the order. So we can leave 19 here itself. Moving on to the next position 20, we can directly say that 20 will not form a pair with any of the remaining positions. Why? Because if it really makes a pair, the remaining numbers have to be higher than 20 because we are checking the order here. And since all these remaining numbers are lesser than 20, it cannot be a correct sequence. So we can simply leave 20 there itself. So this is the advantage we have with the positions. Otherwise, if we go by the letter T, we need to check it with every other letter because whether the remaining letters are after T or before T cannot be set directly by looking at the letters. But when it comes to numbers, we can simply throw a glance at the remaining positions and, and decide whether they are going to make a pair or not. Moving to 15 again, we can simply say that it is not going to make a pair with 18 or 13 right? because 18 is immediately after 15 here. And in the actual sequence, 18 comes two places after 15. So that doesn't make a pair. And since 13 is lesser than 15, that doesn't make a sequence. Here. And 18 and 13 can be immediately left out. And now the same thing can be done in the reverse direction as well. So 13, 14, 15. We can say that 13 and 15 make a correct pair. But because in between 13 and 15, we have 18 here. In the actual sequence also, we have only one number between 13 and 15. So 13 and 15, that is MO makes the second pair. And 13 with the remaining numbers cannot make a pair. Why? Because they are far away in the actual sequence when compared to the given sequence. Moving to 18, we have 18, 19, 20. Again, 18 and 20 is a correct pair because the distance between 18 and 20 in the given word and in the actual numerical order is same. So 18, 20, that is R and T make the third pair. 15 cannot make a pair with the remaining numbers and 20 again cannot make a pair with 19. Why? Because the number after 20 should be a higher number. 19 and 20 makes a correct pair and that has already been considered in the first case. But 20 and 19 is not a correct pair because we are checking the actual order there. So finally, the number of pairs we get in this order is 3. So friends, if you observe here, there is no much of difference between both the methods that we have discussed. But the advantage with respect to positions is the working becomes faster since it is easier to play with numbers than playing with letters. So always try to go by the positions and get the answers as fast as possible.